up, Pat? Welcome back to another Not So Daily What up, guys? Yo, today we're going to be reacting to something you guys suggested to a lot in last exactly. comments, which is Karma's an Army Part 2. Yes, guys. I, I was going to say Karma's a bitch, but Karma is an army. <laughs> exactly, bro. Yes. Anyway, yo, we saw last time where it was like, oh, they can't do this, they can't do that. And then they they ended up doing it anyway. It was kind of like setting a bar for them exactly, to break. Exactly. And then this time around, they broke the records even more by selling out Wembley, right? Twice, two days in a row, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't part two. So it's probably going to be this. Yeah, I'm right. like, right. the update, 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 update. It's funny. It just happened even more, you know? So, yeah. like that. so yeah, guys, if you guys enjoy, make sure to subscribe, like, hit the bell notification to see when we upload. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting out here. Make sure to go check over our Patreon. Once we reach 1,000 patrons, we're going to be giving away six items, three BTS, three Icon. As of now, basically, you choose and Exactly. Like, we, we got a list. They're good stuff. But you guys have, like, any other ideas, mm -hmm. you let us know. Yeah. We'll put it in the list as well. So, guys, go check it out. You're going to love it. Yep, yeah. let's get to it. Let's go. And real quick, before we start, make sure to go check out our sponsor, Linux for BTS and K-pop merch. Make exactly. sure to use our promo code PACK for, for LIFE for 10% discount. You have a link down below, so make sure you go check it out. And let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Also, make sure to go check out the original video down below. Yes. Shuka, shuka, shuka. Oh, ooh. Hello armies, I'm back again to fill your army ego. <laughs> ego. First of all, this video is not intended to hate other groups in any ways. Got it. I made this video to show you that you shouldn't belittle a group or any human being just because they have a dream. Because mm -hmm. you don't know what karma will do to you someday. And excuse me for grammar mistakes, because we be new I sucks in English. <laughs> <laughs> now let's start. <laughs> Yo, she timed that hot. Right? It announced BTS Love Yourself Speak Yourself Tour. Okay. Some people think BTS will never perform in a big stadium like Rossable. But after Big Hit announced <laughs> BTS Stadium Tour, they started to doubt if BTS will ever sell out the show. Can they even fill the stadium? February 20th, 2019. Okay. <laughs> are they sure they have a fan base here to sell out Wembley? <laughs> you are not that famous beach. Armpits beach. really think BTS gonna sell out those stadiums armpits, tomorrow. What? Looking forward to the downfall. What do you mean armpits? Ar I think army armpits. Ah! Damn, it's so me. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's clever. smart. It's clever. I'll give you that. <laughs> but dang. Oh. Throw baby. If you all can't <laughs> face the fact. That BTS probably won't fill out Soldier Bible. Field or any other stadium in America. BB, we. You're not tweeting me the Bible in LMLA. I do. <laughs> oh. Talking about 56k plus, but we will wait and see. <laughs> Moon emoji. Okay, let's see. On March 1st, BTS sold out Wembley, a stadium with 90k capacity in just 90 minutes. And not long after that, the tickets for Stade de France also sold out. Tickets Damn. for Arsenal, MetLife, <laughs> and Soldier mm -hmm. Field is also mm -hmm. sold out in no time. In conclusion, BTS just sell out five stadium concerts in less than a day, <laughs> resulting in an overall sellout That's over 300 How much was it? Like day. 30 mil? Hub also announced yeah. that BTS Self World Tour is their highest selling tour of the year. No kidding. And it is also <laughs> their third biggest in history. Wow. And it's not over yet. A day after BTS sell out their tickets. BTS announced additional <coughs> concert dates for sold out mm -hmm. stadiums on Love Yourself Speak Yourself Tour. So BTS will have a two day show in Wembley, Stade de France, Rosabol, MetLife, and Soldier Field. And on March 8th, BTS sold out their second date at Wembley Stadium, with approximately 180k tickets sold. In That's insane. Christ. Twice. Wow. In such a short amount of time. Yeah, you can't like put tweets anymore, you know, like, <laughs> what else can you say? BTS will never go on the moon. <laughs> Just wait. And they, and they have a concert on the moon. On the moon. And they sell out. <laughs> they sold out the moon. <laughs> day show is more than the first one. For their first day show, the people who were waiting in the queue were 245k. Wow. And for their second day show, the people who were waiting Damn. in the queue were 271k. More. Which is 30k more than the yeah. first day demand. And BTS not only sold out their second day show at Wembley, but also sold out at Stade de France and Rossabol. On March 11th, tickets for BTS show in Brazil Brazil's also here? sold out in less than two hours. Damn. More precisely one hour 15 Damn. minutes, resulting in additional second date show in Allianz Park. Following their first day success, BTS second date show was sold out in just two hours. 
After sell out those stadiums, BTS broke the record of the most attended world tour for a Korean artist, with over 1.8 million attendance with 50 shows. BTS Who had the record before? That, right? And that's what I called legend. <laughs> Let's move no. to the next case. The most ridiculous thing I've ever heard is people assuming BTS popularity were going down just because of TXT, and they really <laughs> have an earth <clears throat> to think that BTS comeback will be flop. We don't. <laughs> will be flop. <laughs> that's insane. No, How like, do you think that? Like, see, it's not like they, you know, people can't listen to both. You I know, know what I mean? The I, I was, uh, yeah, I know, right? Like what? sheet to stay relevant. We all know that global comeback is gonna flop so hard. Dude, I think it's gonna be the biggest comeback. Actually, many of you don't realize it, but it's a good thing TXT is getting a lot of attention. It means that a lot of armies are leaving BTS for TXT, which further means that B. What is this? I am so excited. Like what? Dude, I don't know. How sorry? Like I feel sorry for someone that's like, oh my god, I like someone else's fate. Like you know. Yeah, I, mean, I should have taken a drink before we started. And it's man. delusional too. Like it's not even a real thing. I feel like I'm losing brain cells, guys. Yeah. How you old taking is a this shot person, or something yo. for this? That's it. So. <laughs> That's the sixth of March. BTS's fame and success is going. That's a troll. Come on. It's just the right? It's a troll. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but even Recording Academy said BTS are unlikely to slow down any time soon, <laughs> and I have to agree with that statement, because BTS pre-order sale for their new album is rapidly increasing. In just 24 hours, Map of the Soul Persona reached 56k pre-orders on K-Town for you. Meanwhile, Love Yourself tier only reached 20k, and Love Yourself Whoa. Answer only reached 27k It's gonna be their biggest in the one. span of 24 hours on K-Town for you. It means Persona pre-order is almost twice as much as Answer pre-order, and it's from K-Town for you only. Not long yeah. after Big Hit opened the pre-order, Persona immediately rank number one on Cinera, and also yeah. rank one on Amazon. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a cuter pre-order Persona on Aladdin because there's so many people who wants to purchase at the same time. Damn. Damn. Even buying an album is like ticketing now. <laughs> <laughs> also, until March 16th, Chinese Army's pre-order reached 278 wow. copies, which consist of pre-orders from fame sites, online shops, and individual orders. And Beidou Jungkook Bar is the first fan base to reach 50k album <laughs> pre-orders in less than four days. Wow. For the latest update. Persona is currently number one bestseller on Amazon US, Whoa. number one on Amazon Canada, wow. number four on Canada. Amazon UK, wow. and number one bestseller on K-Town 4 wow. with approximately 121k copies. And not only... It's a cool name though, Map is a Soul, because we know they were going to have a comeback, mm -hmm. but now we know them. Mm -hmm. No, we know. Selling pre-order sales. BTS also reportedly will be the musical guest on SNL. Oh, I did April see that. 30. Saturday Night Live. This will be their worldwide comeback with a global stage. To reveal new track performance for the first time on SNL, we can say this is an upgrade from the last time when BTS made a comeback on BBM as this comeback also gained so many attention from Western media. They all collectively <coughs> promoting BTS like there is no tomorrow. Ha 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 ha. So BTS comeback is gonna flop. Ha. Huh? Well, we are flop to flop or mayo. No one doing it like BTS indeed. <laughs> BTS can't even get a pack. Huh? And BTS stands get a that? job. What you are doing isn't reviving your fave's dad career. Go stream their songs that man even got a pack. Your pack. pass will- They just blew up like a year or two ago. Like how, how are they gonna flop? Like how are they just gonna disappear in a year? What's that Oh, <laughs> um, I don't know. Just die right trying. Oh, and by the way, I mean like two years like in the US. Like right, in 2017 is when the people started yeah. recognizing them in the mm -hmm. US. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. I mean, they blew up everywhere else before. Mm -hmm. But they will never come near what this other group has achieved. So sleep and take some growth vitamins. First of all, strong power. Thank you for encouraging Armis to stream. What a supportive <laughs> queen clap clap clap. Queen. Clap, clap. queen. Anyways, just a day after, <laughs> BTS finally achieves their first ever perfect all kill with fake love. Oh, oh. what's a perfect all kill? I don't know, but it sounds... Those hate Damn. comments didn't age well. And karma is indeed an army. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember Pyeongchang Chang Olympic? At first we thought BTS were not invited to that event, and some people were clowning BTS because of it, but it turns out that BTS were actually invited by the executive director Song Sung Hwan, they wanted to bring BTS to the Olympic closing, and they tried to cast BTS, since 2017. 
but was unable <laughs> due to the possibility of BTS overseas schedule. Mm. And after that, Jin suddenly uploaded a video of him chilling with some chickens at a farm. <laughs> <laughs> so they lied to them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, busy overseas and we're wow. chilling with chickens. <laughs> what a rooster Which means right BTS didn't have an overseas schedule at that wow. time, and other fandoms were mad about it. Uh -huh. They said BTS were lazy and so on. But then again, so first they 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 were clowning up for not getting invited, and now they're getting mad for not attending. <laughs> <laughs> BTS uh, perform on the Olympics. Some people, man, some people just like irk you when you, like. Yo, I want to know them personally. What are you? <laughs> like, what are you like, what's in your mind? What? You're crazy. Uh, <laughs> because of the possibility of overseas schedule. A possibility. So it wasn't a confirmed schedule in the first place. <laughs> and after the whole thing about the Olympic, some people who still salty were so sure that BTS wouldn't get any award at KMA. Since today most armies are celebrate the Karma is army for that Olympic news. Tomorrow our fandom can celebrate what and thing? drag BTS army down for not getting D sang at Korean Grammy K Emma. Have fun tomorrow. Well, stay pressed because BTS actually win musician of the year at <laughs> Emma 2018. <laughs> this is the first time for K-pop idol to win such award. Not only oh. that, in February 26, 2019. BTS got Musician of the Year award for the second time, and they also got Song of the Year award and Best Pop Song award at KM. Yo, I'm excited for the comeback. Right. Like, la like that comeback brought us Fake Love. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. And then Idol. Oh, I don't man. know what song oh, it all. 2019. I'm not saying that BTS just <laughs> made it. such a good song. But that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> if they are so great, why does not the president send celebration to them? It's just a political offense. They said they are already worldwide, but why haven't the Korean president acknowledged them? Didn't they meet him? The difference between nations pick and social artists are too much. Nations pick based on talents and acknowledged by their own country, while social artists, based on most retweets on Twitter, because irrelevant in their own country. Maybe they forgot that the GP was upset with that UN speech because I it have came 40 likes them promoting their music. And three retweets. First of all, it's so unnecessary to bring up politics into fandom war. <laughs> Second of all, it's so childish of them to discrediting BTS and especially Namjoon for his UN speech. It was a really important speech. And even if Namjoon talking amazing. about their music, it is because it was relevant for the topic. And actually, UN speech by BTS is... Yeah, it's like the point of them being there because their music brought a lot of, like... Yeah. The, like Positive the, the, influence, Yeah, the, mo the motto, love yourself. Exactly. Like, that was the point why they're there. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this um, video made me mad, not gonna lie. It's, it's, it's just some people are annoying. It's part of school curriculum <laughs> in sense. various countries. The response oh, from wow. Korean net is also it's really cool. positive. They are fascinated at Nam Namjoon's speech. They feel proud. And they really appreciate how diverse BTS are. And as a gift of their UN speech, BTS received custom watches from President of South <laughs> Korea. The watches have the President's signature inside oh, wow. the face. Wow. And an inscription on the back reads wow. putting people first, considered to be the President's philosophy. Wow. President Moon Jae-in also Moon. congratulate <laughs> BTS <laughs> for topping Billboard 200 chart hey. with Love Yourself tier. He appreciate the sincerity of BTS's dance and singing. He also hey. appreciate them for their melody and He's lyrics an which transcend <laughs> regional borders, language, culture, and for institutions. Real. He for also real. said that BTS will be remembered for a long time. <laughs> so BTS is actually well appreciated by the president. Yeah, he said a lot of it. Right? Like so, yeah. A petition demanding for BTS disbandment was filled to the <laughs> Blue House. Like, what? K Korean oh, they have a Blue House, not a White House? That's cool. <laughs> and apparently it was because <laughs> is of the issue about BTS military <laughs> even service Ecuador's extension, White House. which isn't true at all. BTS were just an object of South Korean politician for military extension debate. BTS <laughs> themselves said they will definitely enlist for military service to clear they were, the I think they were getting used for... Maybe saying that, oh, they're not probably not going to go or something like that. Okay. I don't know. They, they, they were getting used by both, like, outside. I need like, guidance. <laughs> I don't get it fully, but I'm just assuming. Yes. <laughs> and in October 14th, which is just four days after that petition, BTS attend Korea France okay. Companionship Concert in Paris. President Moon also attend the event and they meet at that place. Hey. BTS <laughs> also extended their contract hey. with Big Hit for seven more years hey. in October Dang. 17th. 
they basically showing those people that a petition couldn't stop them for reaching their dreams and continue to do what they love. The petition even seems like a joke what after a BTS petition. awarded Order of Cultural Merit by Korean government wow. in October. That's what I was gonna say too. Uh, BTS helped bring like K-pop culture, yeah, or, uh, Korean culture, not K-pop, okay, K-pop too, to like the West. Everywhere, <laughs> yeah, especially the like, West. Other groups exactly. did too, like before them, but I think they. Are the ones that are the most and also there's a reason why we like k-pop <laughs> <laughs> that is BTS, you know to be fair <laughs> so we we're literally the products of all this you know yeah they become the and a lot of other people too exactly who, like, so the, much the people dude along with bringing the message so, of love yourself south america you know, to the west yes exactly i don't youngest recipient i'm annoyed too. <laughs> and recently bts were added into south korean national anthem all of those things hey, wow. proves that BTS is indeed well respected, well appreciated, and they are indeed national treasure in South Korea. <laughs> <That's simple today. laughs> oh my god! No! <laughs> I needed that. I needed that. Me too. <laughs> he pushed them so hard. Hey, this must have been hard for you. <laughs> fandom. Yeah. You don't need to do the same thing as they do, and the comeback is really near. There will be so many oh, people who cool. will discrediting BTS and armies, <laughs> but just ignore, and we will prove them wrong when the time comes, because Karma is army, and <laughs> she loves BTS. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> there was no point to that heart because it was red, <laughs> just like his pants. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I offended anyone. Love Are you yourself. triggered, bro? <laughs> Love myself. Peace. Not a, I, I'm offended by the people. You know? Yeah, what are people like that, like even... I don't think that's exist. <laughs> it's just so annoying. But why? Like, it's just annoying. Oh, wow. I don't know. But it's honestly, it's awesome that they managed to prove them wrong on, that's on everything. That's beautiful. Exactly. Which is just like, it's also like, it was 40 likes too. Like, that's not even that much either. But still, that's and 40 people. Some people like, agree. what the hell? But yeah, guys, what thank you guys for watching. It? No hate. <laughs> no <laughs> hating. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching this. Supporting on here. And let's hope the best for BTS. For real, for a lot so more. I'm excited for, more for the comeback. Comeback. It's going to be the biggest comeback, I think. For real. See, See you guys. Video. Peace. Ciao. Love y'all.